guys, what's going on? You got Sniper Aim here, and yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. I'm actually uploading a battle. Now, I meant to get this battle up a few weeks ago, but I kind of forgot and got sidetracked with stuff. But anyways, I'm bringing you guys one right now. And I also wanted to say happy holidays, everybody. You know, Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates it. But yeah, let's get into this. So, um, I'm facing Dad's dad, and as you can see, I'm on the other side of the screen for some reason because showdown I guess acts up but uh yeah he has a pretty solid team and looking at my team uh this is before uh Mega Low Punny and Mega Glade got banned so oh yeah, yeah and, and Toby Kiss so uh yeah it's gonna be a pretty interesting match so without further ado let's get into it all right so let me cut the music real quick and uh yeah he leaves with Jirachi and um I'll leave with my Hippada and he, right off the bat, he goes straight for Trick, which cripples my Hippata heavily, but, you know, I didn't really care that much. So, I just set up the Stealth Rocks, and he's going to decide to use her, which is kind of bad for me, because he's going to be able to try to spin. I don't really remember this battle all too well, but I figured he was going to try to spin, so I'm going to take this opportunity to try to flinch him down, but, ah, uh, Togekiss isn't coming through, not trained. Not, no hunt, no max happiness, none of that. So, he's gonna switch out, and I'm a nasty plot right here, trying to basically just smack through his team. I'm gonna switch out predicting the iron here because I figured he had one that flinched me down, and that's exactly what he tried to do. Now, I bring my star, uh, my star me, I'm trying to burn this thing heavily, and what I figure out right here is that, uh, you know, I'm faster, so I'm, I'm not, I kind of forgot how many, how much speed I ran into my, uh, star me, but yeah. He's going to go into his, his uh, Mega Absol, which was a stupid play. Uh, I'm going to live. He's going to risk the burn. And yeah, he was pretty salty about that, but I don't care. So right here, I'm going to end up just recovering. Just to try to get some HP back. Figure he wanted to switch maybe to Hydreigon. Who knows? So he's going to uh, knock off again as I recover. And uh, he's going to go into his, his Potato Fairy. He's a Romatisse, which is fine and everything. I'm going to go straight back at the Togekiss because I figured, like, at this point... I could just nasty plot up and then flamethrower to take out this uh this well actually no I flamethrower right off the bat but uh yeah uh he's gonna go right into his his Jirachi again which really didn't I didn't care about because I figured he was just gonna iron hit or U-turn I could just use my Jirachi as a pivot switch so yeah that's fine and everything uh he's gonna go into his his tentacle rape you know I don't know what, what's up with his names but uh yeah he's gonna um go into Gliger as I U-turn right on out uh I guess. I don't really know what he's predicting, but yeah, I, uh, I U-turn right on out. I'm going to Togekiss, try to set up this nasty plot, and try to sweep, but ah, uh, he made he made a really good play. U-turn right on out, uh, and he's going to try to flinch me down, because I know he is. I, I pretty much know he is, so right here, I'm going to switch out, because I don't want to get flinched, and I'm going to go into my big hippo. Uh, he's going to do absolutely garbage damage to me, and... <laughs> And that's whatever. So I'm gonna pull this double switch, predicting him to make a, a switch into whatever. But I kind of forgot he wasn't choice anymore since he tricked my Hippodon, which was kind of stupid. So yeah, awkward. But uh, he's gonna go into his Bruce Wayne, his little Batman dude, and I'm gonna try to Zen head, but that uh, Tentacruel. I kind of figured he knew I had it because I always, I kind of always run Zen head, but on my squad. So yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go into this big old threat that was smashing the whole tier, Mega Low Punny, and uh, I'm going to set up the substitute. And right here, I guess he's going to uh, try to break my sub with a Skull, but as you can see, this return does way too much. Does way too much. I'm going to be able to take out this Tentacruel. He has absolutely no switches for this thing. If he wants to go into his Romantis, he can. It's going to do heavy, heavy damage. Uh, so, yeah, I figured right here he was going to try to wish up, so I sub right here. I uh, wanted to kind of see what he wanted to do, but actually he decided the Moonblast, so... Yeah, that was a really good play on his part. And uh, right here, I'm going to end up just switching out into my Toby Kiss. Uh, pretty much thinking I'm going to just... either I'm either going to Nasty Plot or Flamethrower. Like I said, I don't really remember this match too much, but I know I did either one of those. So, uh, uh, yeah. He's going to go into his Jirachi. And, oh, no, I decided to go for Roost. Uh, he's gonna go into his Jirachi. I went, I went for Rouge just to heal myself from taking so much damage from Stealth Rock. Uh, he's gonna go into his Jirachi in U-Turn, which, you know, was another good play. He's getting a lot of momentum on me, and I'm trying to put myself in a position 
where I can win basically with Toe Kiss and just catch his Jirachi off guard, but it's a little bit too hard. So, uh, yeah, he's just gonna wish up, uh, that's fine and everything. He's gonna switch out and go into his, his, uh, his Hydreigon, which is fine. I'm just gonna take this opportunity just to spin because these hazards were pretty much just destroying my squad. And I couldn't have that. So, uh, yeah, he's gonna decide the Dark Pulse again. This is Life Orb Hydreigon, which is a threat. And, uh, he's pretty much gonna switch into his, uh, his Tentacruel. Basically, basically just sacking it, predicting me to go for Flamethrower. So, right here, uh, I'm gonna decide to just, uh, Air Slash, I guess. Trying to just, you know, weaken it down. But he's gonna make the good, really, really good play. Baiting in the Air Slash and going straight into Togi, uh, I mean, not Togi gets, but, um, Jirachi getting a free switch. So, he's gonna go in the Iron Head, which basically he just wanted to just flinch me down like a like a hexer he is, but uh, <laughs> yeah. He's gonna um, U turn wrap right that. And I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go for Stuff Rocks right here and basically just force the default on his part so I can get a free switch. And uh, yeah, he's gonna set up his Stuff Rocks instead. His Tinted Crew is basically dead, and I still have my spinner, and his spinner is like. I could pretty much spin on any one of his mods, but yeah. He's on a U-turn, and I'm going to just, you know, I'm not, actually, I don't really know what I did right here. Uh, I guess I didn't do anything. I just He just U-turned after he got up his rock. So right here, uh, I'm going to risk not being able to, um, you know, I'm going to risk the flinch, and sadly, I didn't even, he didn't even switch. He just, you know, he was, play, he was playing really well. So, yeah. He uh basically just crippled the mess out of my my uh, Toga Kiss, which which is a problem because I pretty much need this Toga Kiss to kind of win this game. And yeah, he's gonna trick my Violet away, which is fine. I didn't really care about my Violet. I didn't need it. And right here, he's gonna just you know flinch me down to death. And uh and I could kind of see this, which you know I don't really care too much about because I know at this point I'm going to be able to spin. But uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to recover first as he U-turns, which is, which is going to get off heavy damage. I guess the correct play would have been the spin, but uh, at the end of the day, I really didn't want to, you know, you know, have my Starmie dead and spin while he could just defog and set up hazards again while he still has a spinner. Well, well, actually, no, he doesn't have defog because his tentacle has regular spin, but yeah. After he does that, I'm a, he's, he basically just let me get the free switch to Togekiss so I can roost right back up. Which is great. I need my token is really healthy. So right here, I'm gonna switch. I'm not playing really any games with this thing because um, Jirachi is a threat, and I'm gonna take this opportunity to U-turn because you know my Jirachi couldn't do nothing to his Jirachi. He know I didn't have Fire Punch, and he tried to uh, get his scarf back, which I wasn't letting happen. So and he and he took my token his leftovers with that play. So that was kind of a problem. Uh, I'm not really sure what I was predicting, but I switched right back out into Jirachi. I guess I didn't want to be flinched, so, um, yeah, he's gonna, uh, I'm gonna put out the U-turn, and I'm gonna go straight into Hippodon, I'm kinda sacking this thing, because, like, this thing was hindering me more than it was actually helping me, so, as he kills my Hippodon, I'm down two to his six, still alive, and, you know, it's not looking too good for me and everything, but, it's no problem, I got this big threat, low punny coming right through, He's gonna go into his old uh, breaker, his Mega Abso, just a second. I'm gonna go straight for the high jump kick, not messing around in case he wanted to bring his Jirachi in or something. I don't know, but uh, he's gonna bring his uh, Aromatis back in, which is a kind of a threat. Well, but not really. I don't know, but uh, he's gonna just Moon Blast as I go into my Toga Kiss. My Toga Kiss is especially defensive, and me predicting the uh, Jirachi to come straight in. I'm a, a flamethrower. Luckily, I get the burn on this thing. No, get a little bit of the hex in, no biggie. And, uh, yeah. Uh, he's gonna go into his Tentacruel, trying to get the free switch when he does, which, you know, it's not really too big of a deal. Because what I plan to do, I plan on flinching this thing to death and just killing this thing right off the bat. So, uh, he's gonna be able to spin, you know, small price to, uh, uh, to pay, basically. So, I'm gonna flamethrower again, predicting his Jirachi to wanna come in. But, uh, he's gonna take this opportunity to have his, his Toxic Spikes, which I'm like, oh, crap. My little punny is definitely hindered, and he's not gonna make the switch into Jirachi because he doesn't want to bring it in on a fan door. He has no reason to actually risk that. So, he's gonna go into his Jirachi now. Moment of truth. He's gonna Iron Head. Does he get the flinch? Ah, no. My Togekiss is well trained. And he knows at this point, 
is basically a wrap because he needed he needed his uh, Jirachi really really bad because my Toki Kids was a threat to his whole team. Um, so he's on a dark post, basically just. He didn't have really have any other play he could do. I set up on his Romantis and his Gligar, so uh, yeah, what he's gonna do is just you know Dark Post. As I go into Jirachi, my Jirachi is Scarf. I'm gonna be able to heal and wish, and um, I'm gonna uh, I don't know who I go into Tokyo's or oh I go into Tokyo's because I didn't want him to I didn't want my uh, Tokyo's to die to a Dark Post, which it, I think it would have. Pretty sure it would have. Uh, Min Max Rose, I don't know. So um, yeah, I'm on Nasty Plant right here, just playing some games with him. I already know it's over at this point, but uh, he's gonna flinch me, and actually he could he could actually win if he flinches me again. Well, flinches me this turn, but actually, but uh, I don't know. He doesn't flinch me, and he's gonna just spam Dark Post. I don't know if he has if he has Roost, so yeah, that's another good thing. But he's just spamming Dark Post at this point, trying to flinch me down, which is kind of too late for that. So yeah, that's whatever. So he's gonna go into his his, his Gligar, and I'm gonna kill that thing with air shots very easily. And he's gonna go into his uh, potato fairy aromatis. I'm just gonna smack this thing down with a with an air slash. And I know it's uh, physically defensive because it just died in one hit. But uh, yeah, basically it was a good game. Um, again, I just wanted to say you know you know sorry for not uploading as consistent or you know I don't I, f I feel bad about just uploading you know every once in a while but you know it's it's kind of like i just get caught up in doing other stuff but uh yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this um i do my best to upload more and upload faster but like i said uh happy holidays guys and um peace